Hello everybody, uh, the topic that I will explain in this uh, video is uh, about uh, uh, the commutators uh, in quantum mechanics. So if you have uh, an operator A and another operator B and if you actually write uh, uh, this bracket AB uh, this actually denotes the commutator of uh, operators A and B and it is defined as uh, the, the product of A into B uh, minus the product uh, B and A so it is defined like this and let's say that uh, you have got uh, some uh, four operators for example uh, operators a b c and d and if you want to do the commutator of uh, a plus b with uh, c plus d you can again use uh, the same formula by which uh, you can write this as a plus b into c plus d minus uh, c plus d into a plus b and if you do the products uh, you will see that this can be written as uh, a c plus uh, a d plus uh, b c plus uh, b d minus c a minus uh, c b minus uh, c d uh, wait a second minus uh, d a minus uh, d and b so if we uh, if you actually combine this term and uh, this term you can actually write this uh, the bracket of a with c and uh, if you combine this term and uh, this term you can write that as uh, the commutator of a with d and if you combine this term and this term you can write this as the commutator of b with c and if you combine the remaining terms that is this and this you can write this as the commutator of b with d so if you have got uh, a plus b operators commuting i mean uh, uh, the commutator of uh, a plus b with uh, c plus d you can write as uh, uh, the commutator of ac and the commutator of ad plus uh, the commutator of bc plus commutator of bd and we can assume that uh, this as uh, one of the important uh, uh, properties of uh, the commutators and let us say that you have got uh, operators a b and c and if you have got them in products like uh, a into b and then a commutator of uh, that with c and if you want to calculate that you can again use the uh, same uh, uh, same uh, 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 definition by which you can write this as a with bc i mean uh, a b with c a b into c uh, minus uh, c into a b so you can write it like this so to this i think i can actually add and subtract uh, certain thing which is uh, a b c what i do is uh, i will actually subtract a uh, uh, let me do c b and uh, i can add uh, this thing again so that the answer won't change as the above uh, expression i mean what i did here is that uh, i have subtracted this quantity and added this quantity so that uh, they get cancelled and give us back to the same answer which we had earlier uh, earlier so now what i can do is if i can actually write down a in, in the front then i can actually see that it is bc minus cb and by definition i can write this as uh, the uh, commutator of uh, bc and in the remaining thing if i write this b uh, towards the right side 
and I can see that it is uh, simply AC minus CA which I can write as A with uh, B uh, I'm sorry A with C commutator so this uh, uh, A into B with the C the commutator is simply we can write A outside and we can write uh, the commutator of B with C plus uh, uh, the commutator of A with C and then B outside and let me try to actually do the uh, other property which is uh, it is actually the commutator of uh, uh, operator A with uh, B into C like this so we can write again by definition that uh, it is uh, simply A into B C B into C minus uh, B into C into A and again I can actually uh, write the first term as it is but uh, I can actually subtract a uh, certain thing which is uh, uh, B A C and I can add same thing which is B uh, B uh, A C and I can sub uh, write the remaining th uh, term which was B C and A and i can actually see that if if i take this c if i add this c towards the right side then it will be a b minus uh, b a in bracket so which i can write as the commutator of a with b and plus uh, if i can write uh, this b guy uh, first then it uh, we, uh, we can see that it is uh, a c minus c a so we can write this as the commutator of a with c so it goes uh, with the same logic that uh, if you have got uh, operators a b uh, and the commutator uh, i mean uh, a b and c and the commutator of a and uh, b into c is uh, simply a with uh, b commutator and c outside plus b and then a c so if we actually can uh, can uh, actually combine these two properties we can actually uh, extend this uh, uh, even for uh, the case in which we have got uh, uh, four operators uh, e, a b and c but this time the commutator of a into b with c into d so we can see that it can be written as uh, a uh, with uh, with uh, b i mean a if it is outside it is uh, b with a c d plus uh, if you write uh, a inside a and then cd and then uh, b outside like this and in the next step we can see that it is a uh, if we write c outside it is like this and then b with d plus uh, a if it is here then if you write uh, b with c d outside like this and plus uh, if you write a here and if you keep c here we should write a D here and then a B here and plus uh, if you write a C first it is A with a D and then B here so if you combine the properties number two and three we can write this property number four like this so now let me actually solve some uh, example which appeared in uh, the gate exam of uh, physics in the year of uh, uh, 2002 that is uh, if you have got uh, a and b operators and if you denote the co uh, commutator of a with b like this then uh, what is the commutator of uh, commutator of uh, a b with uh, i mean commutator of a b and commutator of b c whole commutator like this so it appeared in uh, get uh, get uh, let me put ZTE gate uh, 2002 paper so you have to solve this one so let me wait a second B with A it's not B with C so if you have got uh, two, two operators A and B and uh, uh, and if you, de uh, if you denote their commutator as this bracket uh, and if you reverse them like this and if you take this and this together 
what is their competitor so let me assume that the uh, competitor of a b is something like a c operator but if you reverse uh, their order then we should be getting minus c as per the definition because in in the definition it is uh, a b minus b a and and if you actually reverse them it will be b a minus uh, a b so it it will be simply minus of uh, a b so if you assume the answer for uh, the commutator of a b as c then the commutator of uh, b a will be minus c and for this if you again apply same kind of definition it will be uh, minus uh, c squared minus minus uh, c squared so it will be minus c squared plus c squared so we should be equal to zero so zero is the answer for this question and let me say that uh, this is example number one which we are solving in this and in commutators uh, we should know one thing that if if you have got uh, these uh, 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 these basic uh, uh, position uh, operator uh, components like uh, x component and then the uh, the momentum uh, operators uh, component which could be a px component and if you are actually computing the uh, commutators for them that is uh, actually by doing either uh, x x uh, with uh, px or y with uh, py or whatever I mean uh, even for the last thing which is uh, z with pz the answer will always be ih cut so these things uh, you might have uh, known from the uh, theory class of uh, quantum mechanics so if you know just this one then uh, based upon this and uh, by using the properties which we derived uh, just a while ago uh, we, we can answer uh, some of the questions which appeared in gate exam for example in uh, in gate exam uh, of uh, 2003 there was a question about uh, uh, I mean finding the answer for uh, the uh, commutator of uh, x with uh, px square instead of px uh, they just write only only p for this and in, in that case uh, of course uh, uh, e, x with the p squared actually so in that case we can actually write this as uh, the bracket of x with uh, p into p so if we again use the formula which is uh, x with p if you write like this then we can write the other p over here and if you write uh, the p first it is x with p like this we should write and of course we should notice that uh, x with p x x with p is simply ih cut and of course we can write this p as it is plus here we can write this p as it is and the answer for this is ih cut so in total it will become two times uh, ih cut into p so this has come in the year of uh, uh, 2003 in uh, the gate exam and in the year of uh, 2007 the question has come slightly differently that is actually to compute the uh, commutator of x cube with px or p so in in that case we can write this x cube as uh, the uh, product of x square into x and then p as it is so it will become if you write x square outside so here i can write x with p and i can write uh, the commutator of x square with p and then uh, x outside like this and it is simply x square into ih cut for this commutator and for this i can write again x outside and x with p of course this x was already there plus uh, i can write x with p and if i write uh, the other x here it will become x squared so this will be simply i h cut into x squared here plus over here it is uh, 
i h cut for this bracket and x into x will make it uh, i h cut into x squared plus uh, over here again i h cut into x squared and if i combine all these uh, three terms it will become 3 i h cut into x squared operator as i said this has come in the year of 2007 in the gate exam and in 2016 the question has come slightly differently that is to compute the commutator of x squared with p squared so for this we can write this as uh, x with uh, i mean we can write uh, one x outside and we can say that it is x with uh, p squared and we can write uh, x with p squared and we can write the other x outside like this and again over here we can write uh, one p outside so it will become x p and x with p and this x was already there so we can write this x here and uh, we can write uh, x and p here but this time the p will come towards the right side like this so this is the end of the first term and plus uh, sorry for the interruption because i am recording this on my cell phone with a limited resources but uh, i hope it will still help uh, you people in youtube so anyways let me work on the second term so it will become p we can write outside and x with p of course one x was already there so it will be this one plus uh, i can write x with p and i can write even this p also outside so it will be px because x was already there so now we can see that xp and this is simply ih cut over here also x into ih cut so which is actually uh, it's actually constant so we can still put uh, xp into ih cut here and over here it is uh, plus uh, px into ih cut and here it is uh, uh, ih cut into px so if we take ih cut guy as a common factor of course we'll be able to see that it will be 2xp plus uh, 2px so we even we can write the 2 outside so it will be xp plus px this is the answer for this question and as i said this has appeared in the gate exam of uh, 2016 paper and in some paper i don't remember the year there was a question uh, about the commutators uh, and uh, by, uh, by definition let me put that as number five and by definition they, they were defining the commutator of uh, x with uh, p as simply i so the, uh, they were kind of dividing the answer by by h cut factor so it was just this one and uh, they said that if you actually kind of uh, uh, transform is uh, x and p into new system where your x is simply x uh, cos uh, phi plus uh, p into sin uh, phi and then your y is uh, is uh, like uh, minus x sin phi plus uh, p into cos phi so if you define this uh, x and y's in a new way then what is uh, the, the commutator of x and y of course so you know all these things are operated so th they should be in principle uh, having caps like this but i was not putting all the hats like this so so anyways uh, if you have this one then by definition or uh, we can write these things x cos phi plus p sin phi comma minus x sin phi plus p cos phi as uh, as it is like this and next uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the definition of uh, the, the commutators by which we can write this as x cos phi plus p sin phi into minus x sin phi plus p cos phi minus minus x sin phi plus p cos
cos 5 into x cos 5 plus p sin 5 and in the next step what we can do is uh, we can actually do the products and kind of do the simplification so it will be minus x squared cos phi into sin phi uh, plus x into p into cos square phi uh, that is if you actually do this into this one and this one and if you do the same thing with this to this plus this to this then we'll see that it will be p of course minus minus px sine square phi plus p squared sine phi into cos phi of course over here there was already a minus sign and if you put uh, a bracket like this x into x will be x squared and then it is uh, sine phi into cos phi minus xp sine squared phi plus px cos squared phi plus p squared sine square i mean sine phi into cos phi so this is the thing and but uh, we can actually see uh, some of the terms getting cancelled for example uh, the cross terms if you observe I think uh, let me actually see which terms will get cancelled yeah at least uh, this p square sine phi and this one they get cancelled and what else uh, the other terms like uh, uh, x squared uh, x squared uh, cos phi sin phi wait a second let, uh, let me observe which terms may get cancelled easily i'm sorry for this uh, small mistake that if you do minus x into this this one there should have been a minus sign over here so we can see that uh, minus and minus uh, will make it plus x squared sine phi cos phi and even this term and this term will get cancelled and uh, x uh, p uh, minus into minus will make it plus and then uh, sine square phi plus uh, cos square phi so it will simply become x p and then uh, cos square phi plus sine square phi will, will become one so we can even ignore that and minus same thing goes for this one px into sine square phi minus uh, is here so we already pull this uh, minus one outside so it will be simply px and in the bracket sine square phi plus cos square phi which is one so simply by definition it was uh, i so the answer will be i for this uh, commutator of x with why this has appeared in some year in gate uh, i don't remember the year perhaps in uh, 2001 or some time and in the year uh, 2018 there was some interesting question which has come from the uh, commutators uh, topic and that is uh, for a free particle of mass m the commutator of uh, uh, x with uh, that of uh, x h where h is uh, hamiltonian of the free particle so this has come in some time uh, in uh, i mean in actually 2018 and, and let me put this as number six problem that we are solving in this video and you know that uh, for a free particle in one dimensions the uh, uh, the uh, Hamiltonian will be simply the, the kinetic energy of it which we can write as p square over 2m and uh, if you want to calculate the, the commutator of x with h we can simply put uh, x comma uh, p square by 2m and of course this 2m guy is a constant so we can write x with 
it's a p square and we can see that 1 by 2m is a constant here so it can be x with p we can write this p outside plus if you write this p here and and 2m also then it is x with p like this and we will see that it will be simply 1 by 2m into p and then ih cut plus same kind of answer 1 by 2m ih cut so since it is repeating it will be ih cut by m with and p this is the answer for this uh, commutator but we should do actually the, the commutator of x with the commutator of x and h so it will be x as it is but for this we can put this and p and remember this is actually constant so we can write this ih ih cut by 2m outside and in bracket it is x with p and by definition of course ih cut by 2m is still outside but by definition it is ih cut so i square will make it minus 1 and h cut into h cut will make it h cut square wait a second there was no 2m here it was just m so it will be minus h cut square by m this is the answer as i said it has appeared in uh, 2018 in the gate exam so anyways uh, these are the few questions which i try to explain uh, on the uh, uh, on, on the uh, topic of uh, the commutators and uh, the uh, problems that appeared in the gate exams in the previous years and uh, please uh, like uh, this video and uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to know or if you want to get uh, more uh, uh, more videos which will be useful for gate exam so anyways uh, thanks once again